Ho Chi Minh finally lands in Paris and is welcomed like a head of state. He even attends the Bastille Day military parade next to General Juin and General Delattre. A grand reception is organized in honor of Ho Chi Minh. Santini's wife, Lady Saho, gives Ho Chi Minh a warm welcome as the situation in Indochina deteriorates. To keep up the pressure on the French, the Viet Minh have been attacking convoys and killing soldiers. After a month of fruitless talks, the Fontainebleau Conference concludes with a vague draft agreement and Ho Chi Minh returns home. He refuses to travel by plane for fear of being assassinated, he claims. It takes him three weeks to arrive in Haiphong Harbor in the north of Indochina on October 20th, 1946. His deliberately long absence has given Giap time to prepare for war and to bloodily eliminate the communists' political rivals. The time for peacemaking is over. Ho Chi Minh has failed to reach agreement with the French on the two key issues, independence and the reunification of the three provinces, Tonkin, Annam, and Cochin China into a single communist country to be called Vietnam which the French adamantly refused to consider. In Haiphong on November 23, 1946, a cargo boat inspection turns violent and the Viet Minh militia shoot at the French, causing casualties. The Navy retaliates with its big guns, killing several hundred locals. Ho Chi Minh issues a call for armed struggle. Those who have rifles will use their rifles. Those who have swords will use their swords. Those who have no swords will use their spades, hoes, and sticks. Everyone must endeavor to oppose the colonialists and save his country. <laughs> <laughs> 